Good morning, this is just another taxpayer driving off to do a computer repair job before I go to work. Yeah, I repair computers on the side and whatnot, but this video is not about that, is it? It is about Hollywood claiming that they're boycotting Trump's inaugural, I can't even pronounce the word this morning, uh, on Friday. Let me tell you something. They're they're claiming that they're they're boy, boycotting it. Boy, God, I can't even speak. They're boycotting it. I'll just have to slow down. But I tell you this: most people I know, we're boy, boycotting them. They they're making an excuse why they're not showing up. But I can almost guarantee you that Trump didn't ask half of them. That are claiming they're boycotting, boycotting it. <sighs> you know, isn't it funny that Hollywood and the television news and the paper newspapers and all the big wig uh, websites like. Google News and Yahoo News, they're all on the same team. And it's not by pure accident, it's by design. They are part of the propaganda mechanism, the machine, to sway your thought process, to, to sway your beliefs that you are right into their beliefs that they are right. Hollywood stars, and, and good for them. They're making big money. Um, but you know what? They don't donate a lot of money. What they'll do is, they'll get on television and support a cause, but I guarantee you, they're not up there supporting any cause unless they're getting paid something for it. But they call it contribu con you know, contributing to their cause. Yet they get on television and tell us how we should live our lives, them in their big mansions, us in our huts, I'll call them, compared to theirs, you know, their homes, telling us how we need to live, how we need to contribute and pay for all the the freeloaders of this world. They believe they're deserving people, but I believe most of them, not all of them, are freeloaders. This society is becoming addicted to being helped. I know because I was born and bred in inner cities. I was born in Brooklyn, New York, raised in the Bronx. I moved, then moved to the Tampa Bay area. I lived in LA, South LA. I know what I'm talking about, and I'm currently here in Tucson. A lot of them do really need help. But then you take a, that, that segment, and how many need help because of their own self-destruction habits? Other people, yes. You know, they were born into bad luck, or they were, you know, born, they got sick, or they got laid off. I can understand those that segment. But you got a large segment that are needing help due to decisions and self-destructive patterns that they've had in the past, like drugs, like having kids when they were 16. Why is that my responsibility? Why is it your responsibility that they made a bad decision in life? See, that's part of learning is when you make a bad decision and you yourself can overcome it. But if somebody helps you out of that situation, you don't learn a thing. What you learn is I can make the same decision again and I will be helped again. It doesn't teach you anything. It doesn't make you grow. It doesn't make you stronger. What it does is it makes you dependent. So back to Hollywood. We boycott you, Hollywood. You're not boycotting us. You're just a bunch of fake people or 
are not needed. And just like all the polls that stated that Trump was going to lose, they're now stating that he's going to have the smallest inaugural turnout. I want to bet, I want to put a wager that's also incorrect. I'm wondering how many people, I don't have time to do it, but I'm tempted to call around some of the local hotels and see if they have any uh, available rooms. Because on the news, they're saying, oh, they're, you know, they're only, uh, it's going to be the slowest time. Uh, only half the rooms are booked. They got plenty of rooms left. I'm wondering if we called around. Would there be some rooms available? I don't trust our news. There's too many discrepancies in what they're reporting versus reality. You folks have a good day. I will be watching the inaugural process tomorrow. I still am a little leery. I pray for Trump's safety. Um, as you know, there was a cache of weapons found nearby near near the site where the ceremony is going to take place look that up there it, it, there was found you're not hearing it too much in the news i think i think yahoo reported it i think uh fox news might have reported it on online but not on the television there was a cache of weapons found so i'm wondering if there was a plan to uh take trump out or something anyway folks have a great day I appreciate it. I always say this every video. Leave a comment. If your thoughts are different than mine, I'm not like a Democrat where I'm going to hate you. You know, just leave me a sensible comment. And if it's respectable and has some sense of intelligence, if it differs from mine, I'm not going to freaking bash you. And I hope the people who post on my videos have the same respect. We respect you know, different opinions. I'm not going to freaking hate you, so leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up, that little thing that does this. You folks take care.